Today, we're making a creepy and enchanted wizard staff using nothing more than PVC and paper mache glue. This wizard staff is the perfect addition to any Halloween costume or Halloween decor. So join me for this super simple tutorial. To begin making our staff, we need PVC. Now this one's three quarters of an inch in diameter and I've cut this to about six feet two inches tall, but you can cut yours to whatever height you want depending on how tall you are. Next, we're gonna grab a block of wood. We're gonna put two screws into that block, then we're gonna put the PVC right over it. I've used this method all the times when I wanna keep PVC upright, so let me show you how to do that real quick. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages 2 to 6 years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written, and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. Next, I'm gonna drill three holes in this. Two on the side and then one either in the back or in the front. This is gonna be where the wire is gonna go for the branches that are gonna be coming out of it. So I'm doing this about one and a half inches to two inches from the top and carefully drill in. Next, we're gonna be using some nine gauge wire. We're going to cut maybe a foot of wire each to put into these holes, so that'll be the base of our branches. As you can see, the wire is in different positions and we're just going to use some masking tape to hold it in place or you could use some more wire, but you've got the gist of it. Next, we're gonna grab some brown paper, some old newspaper, some junk mail, whatever you have around. We're gonna grab it and we're gonna start wrapping the wire with it. Once you wrap the wire with it, we're going to surround it with some boxing tape. We're gonna wrap it really tightly. That's gonna give the wood its girth and that's gonna give the nice, thick, woody shape to it. We're gonna do this to various places of the PVC, but especially these branches. These need to get the branch-like texture. Now it's time to do the paper mache process. We've wrapped all the areas that we need with the paper and the tape, and now we're gonna use tight bond wood glue. We're gonna mix it with a dash of water, then we're gonna use a brush to brush it onto the paper towels, and we're gonna start wrapping it around the entire staff.
Now that it's completely dried, we're gonna paint it brown. Now you can pick any shade of brown that you want. I'm just gonna go with a darker brown. Then I'm going to highlight it with some lighter colors. So to give it a textured look, I used a light beige color as a secondary coat on it, but we're not going to paint with it. We're simply gonna grab a brush and gently hit the high points. So you just wanna hit all the veiny parts, all the bumps, and it'll give it that nice dimension. Let me show you how I did it. Grab your brush, dip it in the paint that you want, which is gonna be a lighter paint. I'm using a lighter shade of beige, and we're just gently going to touch the surface like that. You don't wanna paint it into this. You just want to gently run the brush across, like if you're feather painting, gently touching the high points, which will give you these nice differentiating shades, and that's how you do it. So after we've coated our wizard staff with the two colors that we previously used, now I'm doing the details. I have a chocolate color here, a brown color, and a small paintbrush, and I'm simply dabbing it along areas where veins were created or bumps were created when the paper towel and glue hardened. So as you dab it in place, you start giving it more dimensions. And if it gets too brown like it is here, you can just dab away like that. And the fun part is that you can't really make a mistake with this because if it's messy or if there's too much of one paint or another, it still looks like a natural piece of wood. So definitely start using different shades of brown. I have a little bit of gray that I'm going to use and I might just dab a few areas with a dark green but ever so lightly just to give it a little bit more texture and detail. But we're basically almost done. To finish off our wizard staff, we need a crown piece. Originally, I was gonna use a jewel, and I had found this awesome large emerald looking piece that's made out of glass. But when I put it on top, it wasn't eye-catching enough, and in the dark, it's rather invisible because of the green color. I found a better alternative. On Amazon, we found this skull. Look at the detail on it. Look at how ominous it looks. This is by far one of the best skulls I've seen sold online that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And remember, these branches here have wire on the inside, so we can adjust them to whatever width we want it to. So I'm gonna grab my skull just like this and find a place to squeeze it in, just like that. And then you can easily manipulate the wire inside to make it nice and tight so that it doesn't go anywhere. And right here is the finished staff. I absolutely love it. Thank you.